Dreallday.com. The topic now is outsourcing. We want to outsource. Outsourcing is a good thing. I don't mean you getting outsourced. Actually, I do mean you getting outsourced. And this is about knowing what your top skills are and then outsourcing everything else such that you have more time and more energy, more resources, more space to do the things that you do best while everything else that still needs to get done gets done, but it doesn't have to get done by you. Now, this concept of outsourcing and getting other people you know, to help, you know, a lot of people have talked about this and many of us, especially entrepreneurs, we all talk about it and we think about it. The thing is, we often take too long to get around to doing it, including myself. It's just this morning I was looking at some online stuff, even some YouTube stuff. This video will be on YouTube. And I was like, I was looking at some tools that I have access to, and I'm like, all right, we could probably use this to do this, this, this. It's like a lot of different things we could do since I have so much content out there. We could probably optimize this a lot better than it's currently optimized. But as I'm looking at it, <clears throat> the next thought that flashed into my head is I shouldn't be doing this. It's not my space, it's not my lane to be doing this. I need to have somebody else do this so it still gets done but doesn't have to get done by me. And I know what I should be doing. I should be doing stuff like this, like actually recording the material. And, but then after the recording, I don't wanna do anything else. So I've put this in place in some aspects of my business, but not all aspects. And the point that I want all of you to get is, it starts with you even thinking about it. And even if you don't feel like you have the, the people or the information or the, the knowledge or whatever, the money, to go do it, it starts with the decision in your mind that you are going to do it. And it's a magical thing about making the decision that you're going to do something, then the resources start to make themselves available to you. And it has to start that way because I talk to a lot of people every day and often the main reason people have for not moving forward with something is the most logical one. I don't have the tools to do it. I don't have the resources. I can't afford it. I don't have the time. I don't know something. Right? Usually it's some form of a lack of information or a lack of tools why a person won't do something. The thing is, that can all, always be a reason to not do a thing, that you don't have the resources. What it starts with, though, is the decision that, okay, I'm not going to be the one focusing on doing this. I'm going to put someone else or something else in place to get this done. And then what happens is you go looking go talking you go asking and then all of a sudden you find out oh there is a way that I can make this happen because you looked you found that there was a way to do it and this is about several things yes it's about the decision it's also about making sure that you're putting your best resources where they're most useful your best resources are whatever your top skills are so you should know what they are so for me my top skills are talking to either an audience or an individual that be one-on-one -on -one or a group conversation like uh, speaking or coaching something like that and recording in some form which is kind of like talking to a group and writing those are the things that I really should be spending the bulk of my time on any back-end stuff like the details and the editing and any type of editing any type of detail work all of that stuff it needs to be done it's important work but it's not work that I should be doing because that's not my zone of genius. It's not an area in which I can actually be pretty good at it, but it's not an area in which I'm doing my best work. It's not where I'm making my biggest contribution to myself or to other people. And you need to know what those areas are for you. Oh, no, I can't tell if there's a parking space up there. I'll just take this one. So for you right now, ask yourself, what are your best skills? What are the places where you should be spending the most of the bulk of your time based on your skill set? And then what are the things that still need to happen, but they just don't have to be happening because you're doing them? And who or what can help you get those things done? Answer those questions, you put yourself in a powerful position to maximize your resources, which is the key, which is what we all want to be doing. And keeping in mind that you know, time doesn't just keep going and waiting for you to finally figure this out. Eventually, you're short on time and you still didn't even do the things that you want to do. So this whole 
I don't have resources thing as a reason to not do something. We can't let that keep being the reason because you may never get the resources or at least not the resources that you think you need in order to do something. And then before you know it, another year has gone by, another five years have gone by. And then it's like, oh, well, I guess that thing's never going to happen because I never got around to getting the resources when the resources were available. You just weren't resourceful enough to ask yourself better quality questions that would have put you in a position to, to get done what needed to get done. Again, not necessarily by you, but just done, period, but for you, not by you, but for you. Uh, with that said, I work on your game university. That's the place where I do all my coaching. If you want to work with me directly, we work with high level performing people, either those who are already there or those who want to be there. Our framework is based around four pieces, mindset, strategy, systems, and accountability, but it's really and, and not but, but and is really uh, based on who we're working with and what you need, how we coach people. But go to workonyourgameuniversity.com. You can see what our program is about. You can schedule a time to have a conversation with us. We feel like we can help you. We'll tell you how. We'll tell you what it looks like at workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre all.